Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I'm going to show you how to add and utilize the strip function on your Wix website. So let's talk about one of my favorite ways to create pages on Wix, and that is to utilize strips. So I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm just here in the Wix editor. I started out with a completely blank template here. And so all that I have is a header, um, a footer, and then a body. Okay, so let me show you here. We're going to click add. And then there's all these different strips that you can add. So basically a strip is just like a section. So as you work through a website, let me show you one I created here. As you walk through a website, like a home page or really any page, you're going to see like, okay, here's the top image. This is all a strip. The next one has these three, you know, places that you can like action steps to go. Like here's our products. And the next one has, you know, mother daughter creative team. So this is a strip here. This is a strip here. And so it's really great because then they stay stacked on top of each other. So it's really like just getting sections to your site, pushing them all together and then they will stay formatted because it's really important to utilize things like that because in Wix, it's such a free creative zone that your stuff can like literally go anywhere, which is awesome because it creates like a totally customized experience for you. But also sometimes things can get out of place and if you're not like really paying attention, it can look kind of sloppy. So that's why I like to use strips. So let's go ahead and just pull one over here. Okay, there, we have a black strip there for the background. If we go back here to add strip, you can also grab one that has a photo. You'll go right below it, or you can grab one that was a different color, but you can always change it here. So you're not really set to anything, okay? So let's click change strip background. You can choose from one of their images. You can choose a gradient fill. Let's go to color. So again, we have all of these different colors you can choose from. A gradient or like a fluid gradient. So this has all different colors kind of creating a mesh behind it. So you can play around with that and see if that's something you're interested in. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a plain old gray for now. And then let's do this one. This is going to have a background of, hmm, actually, what I think would be better just for representation purposes this is this supposed to be a home page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one above this one because you want a picture that like, grabs your attention first thing on the page, right? So it's kind of hard to move things up and around. So if you're moving like big objects, click the zoom out and reorder button. Can you see that or is it just my face? And here you can like duplicate the section, move it down, trash it. So here we're just going to move this one up. And click exit mode. So there's your top strip. Okay. You can change the strip background to whatever you want it to be. Wix has a million beautiful photos. Unsplash is on here too. Shutterstock you have to purchase, but like let's just say we have this one because it's pretty. See how that looks? Pretty. Okay, so that's your first top strip and then your second strip, okay? So here, let's try to add something to the strip. So first, we're gonna add some sort of heading. Let's just say this is a um, make it bag. Okay, I haven't thought about any sort of like branding situation here. So we'll just say like, that is your headline, okay? Like make it bag, that is your brand, okay? Now let's go for the sub headline. The best ever for you. That's super tacky, but hey. So, okay, now I'm dragging and dropping these wherever they need to be. And you'll see that it says attached to strip. So if I pull it down here, it's gonna attach to that other strip. If I pull it up here, it's gonna attach to this strip. So it's really great because everything will always stay together in its little zone, okay? So let's move this down, grab the arrow to move everything down. Or, okay, perfect. Now here, you can't really see this text, right? So we're gonna click on this background, we're gonna change the strip background. 
Then we're going to click on settings and turn the opacity down to like there. If that's something you want to do. You can also change the where the I where the photo is laid out if you want to. Okay. So in here, we can also add things like buttons. You can just add a lot of different things to these strips and then it keeps it really organized, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and click a few more. I'm gonna attach that there. Okay, perfect. So again, nothing too exciting here, but just showing you that everything you put on the strip then remains on the strip. So that's just really, really handy. So moving on to the next one, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. You can pull and stretch it down. Here, we can add maybe a different image if you wanted to. So let's go to Unsplash. Let's type in makeup bag. See what pops up. Oops, why not? Okay, so then we're gonna trim this down and move it over here. See, it says attached to strip. Okay, then we're gonna add maybe some more text. We have this heading. Style is everything. Say about your makeup bag situation. And then from here, you just pull and drag. Make sure you stay within these dotted lines. Um, that's where you want to keep your really like main information so that everybody can see it. Pull everything over to be centered. So that's basically the most simple overview of strips. It makes it really easy to organize your content. Let me move this up here and make it smaller. Um, let's just get a little deeper. We go back to strip. You can, you know, they have all of these different ones set up for you. So that's kind of cool. You want to have like a quote, they have some of those. So it's like you can utilize their setup and then customize it to look like your own. Cool, huh? So yeah, pretty simple and straightforward, but I thought it'd be really important for you to know how to add a strip to your homepage just to stay organized. If you're looking for a little bit more guidance, maybe some answers to your questions, you can join the Wix Collective. It's my monthly group that gives you all the help, all the guidance you need to build a successful and professional looking Wix website. Wix is awesome. I hope you have a great time creating a Wix website. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.